Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome, and if you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. Today's video, you guys, we're getting into warm and spicy fragrances. This has to be probably behind Gourmand's, like my favorite kind of scent to wear for winter. Nothing makes you feel, you know, cozier and warmer and just kind of irresistible than a warm and spicy fragrance. So, you know, um, like of course, perfect for cold days, but also perfect for date nights. Perfect for when you just want to add a little bit of, you know, comfort and sensuality to the mix. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. <laughs> So this first one, oh God, let me stop. Let me pull it together. I know y'all be like, girl, the way you be hyping up fragrances. <laughs> the first one on this list is newer to my collection. And when I say no one is talking about this fragrance, okay? Uh, you're gonna have to order it all the way from Italy, but this fragrance got to me in four days. This is Mystic Sugar. And this is from the house of, let me make sure I say it right, Corinterno. Oh my gosh. Like, gourmand lovers, come close because this one is for you. This fragrance is so delectable, delicious. I'm wearing it on my skin. Phenomenal. This is a phenomenal gourmand fragrance. All right, so the notes for this fragrance, it opens up with pineapple and orange and almond blossom, okay? So you have this beautiful, like warm and spicy, but fruity opening, and you really cannot discern what type of fruits it is, but it has like a unique fruity quality because you usually don't see pineapple with warm and spicy. Again, almond blossom. So gorgeous, gorgeous opening, but you immediately get into this gorgeous tonka bean and cacao and cardamom and ginger. And oh, it's got a little touch of jasmine, but this doesn't come across as anything like overly floral or white floral, or this is true, like truly a warm and spicy fragrance. It is not overly spicy. And this is all just wrapped up in this amazing amber sandalwood, you know, vanilla base. So when I say perfect, perfect for fall and winter, uh, you need to get your nose on this. I don't know who has decants. I don't, I, I would imagine no one. <laughs> like I could not, I found one person, one person with an English uh, YouTube review on this fragrance and I'm so grateful to her because I I had this on my radar. I don't know how I got it on my radar, but I was like, okay, let me see if I can find more reviews on it before I blind buy it. The, she was the only one with one and I watched it and I was like, oh, I, I, I need it. First of all, yes, this is, you know, it's gonna be international shipment. I got this fragrance, like I said, in four days. Four days from purchase, to to on my doorstep and it was free shipping from Italy, okay? So this particular company, um, they have free shipping to the US if you have, you know, over a certain dollar amount and their perfumes will automatically put you over that amount. So niche perfumery that's not gonna break the bank. Well, what I consider this niche, they have candles um, and perfumes, so I, I don't know what you consider it niche whatever but that's that's beside the point you need to get your nose on this no one is talking about it and when i tell you it is beautiful beautiful gourmand fragrance oh you're gonna feel so delicious and sensual and and sweet and seductive and all of the things like you need to get your nose on mystic sugar because i am absolutely in love with this now this is a moderate ring fragrance it's not gonna be a loud beast mode scent. Um, I feel like it actually sits closer to the skin. So this is gonna be perfect for like those intimate encounters. Like I said, date night, perfect for that. Because it's not gonna be a huge projector, but I find that it lasts on my skin. I think the first time I wore this, it was a work day. 
and I could still smell this like here on my, like my actual skin, you know, eight, 10 hours later. So I feel like it's one of those where it's going to last on your skin and clothes, but it's not going to be a huge projector. But the scent, honey, the scent is beautiful, beautiful scent. You know, if you're a lover of um, cacao, you know, it's a no brainer. But even if, you, if you're not a huge fan of like chocolate or cacao scents, you still may wanna get your nails in because baby, that pineapple, the amber, the ginger, it's just, oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, highly recommended uh, mystic sugar, okay? You're gonna be hearing me rave so much about this one on my channel, so just already prepare to be sick of me. All right, guys, so next up is Ray Spirits, and this is from the house of Inevitus Parfum. Oh, such a gorgeous fragrance. So this is tobacco, it is caramel, it is cardamom, You've got like this salted butter fudge note in there. So you've got this oozy tobacco, you know, element to it, but it's paired with so many delicious gourmand notes as well. So perfect, warm and spicy fragrance for that colder weather. I find that this has wonderful performance. It lasts on my skin. Like I don't have performance issues with any of my Navitas perfumes. And I just find that I'm loving their Take On Gourmands. All three fragrances that I have from this brand are Gourmand fragrances, and they just do not disappoint. Now, if you have Menwe at Demi Air Collection, if you have Changing Constance, I would test this one first because some people may find them too similar. I find that after actually wearing it, experiencing it, this does go off into a very different direction than my Menwe at Demi, um, because like I said, it's got some very similar notes, the pimento, um, tobacco, caramel, and they smell similar in the opening. But this one dries down to me a, just a little, they're both unisex, but I feel like this one will lean just a little bit more masculine than Menwe at Demi. And it has this gorgeous woody French oak that just really, makes it so beautifully rounded off. I love it. And this one is just going to be such a staple for this winter. I love it. Probably be my scent of the night for the night. But again, this is a gorgeous, boozy, raised spirits by the House of Now. So next up is going to be from the House of La Perla. I know I've given y'all like a whole month break from La Perla fragrances, but I could not leave Let the Dance Begin off a warm and spicy list because this is literally one of my favorite warm and spicy fragrances. So this is your spicy ylang ylang uh, tuberose fragrance. To me in my nose, now this is just me because a lot of people get more tuberose from this fragrance. I get more of a yellow floral followed by the white florals and it is so smooth and it is so sexy. I think it's rounded off by like some sandalwood but you've got this caramel that sweetens it up perfectly, but it's not gonna go overly sweet, but it's just, it's giving it the right balance for something, you know, sweet and sensual, seductive, floral, and it's blended to perfection. It really, really is. There's a ton of notes in this fragrance, but it comes together to create something that in my opinion is just pure, like feminine seduction in a bottle. Um, yeah. And one, you definitely need to get your nose on for this winter. Um, yeah, just warm and spicy at its finest. Like, I love this. Oh my God. It is, I almost forgot how beautiful it was. For a hot second, I almost forgot, but I'm smelling the, the nozzle and I'm reminded. <laughs> Let the Dance Begin by La Perla. Beautiful, warm, spicy fragrance. All right, so another tuberose warm, spicy, but very different than the one we just talked about. L'Anthe de Rouge by Givenchy is gorgeous. Now this is definitely a tuberose fragrance, okay? It's tuberose and it's like, it's spicy, but it's, 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 it's just something very sexy about this fragrance. What can I say? It's like, I'm trying to find the words, but compliment getter. Uh, this thing will last 12 hours and it will project the entire time. So, they did not come to play about the performance on this fragrance. And I just find that even if you're not a lover of tuberose, the way this is so just warm and sweet and sexy, 
you still may want to pop in and try it. Just try it. This may turn you on to tuberose, I'm telling you. Because, it, like I said, tuberose can get very white, sharp, stark. Um, this is this is rounded so beautifully and smooth, okay? So my favorite from this whole range, this flanker right here, they really, really outdid themselves with this particular one. Again, that is Leontadit Rouge by Givenchy. All right, so this next one is a combo. <sighs> Oud for greatness, okay? A lot of women will say that this leans masculine, and it does. This, oh my God, did you just smell that? I wish we had smell of vision. Saffron, very, 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 like clean, smooth oud, but it's a sweet saffron. <sighs> Probably the most beast mode scent in my collection. When I say, you know I will spray 30 times before I leave the house. This is a one, two. It might be just a one and then, you know, it's strong. It is strong. You spray this and it lands on anything. You got hardwood floors. You may have them off the floors, okay? Because you're going to smell oof for greatness for like two weeks. This thing is very, very, very strong. Watching my beloved Judy Rose, okay? She came with a combo. <sighs> this combo did not come to play. Love Fest Burning Cherry wasn't getting much wear because I love the scent, but I can't smell it, you know, after one or two hours. Oh, she getting worn now because this combo right here, oh my God, you're going to smell amazing. You're talking about rich vibes. You're talking about making this lean feminine, okay? This combo can be worn by a woman, man, boy, girl, cat, dog, anybody can wear this. First of all, this is going to make this stick around. It sweetens things up. It makes it just uh, juicy, sexy. Like this combo is one for the gods, okay? So if you have both of these in your collection, I need you to wear them together. If you have this and it's just sitting there, okay? Honey, you can get you a small little decan of this because this bottle will last if perfumes didn't expire, this bottle will probably last me 50 years. That's how strong this is. <laughs> and I don't wear it often because it is leaning masculine. I'm not gonna pull for this much. Even though I love it, you have to be in a certain mood for that. It's not like reaching for, you know, your everyday vanilla 28, something super feminine, you just throw it on. You really gotta put thought into wearing something this strong, number one. Wearing something, you know, this masculine leaning, number two and um, wearing oud, number three. Like there's thought that goes into putting a fragrance on of this of this caliber. <sighs> this makes it like you you don't even have to, girl, do you, do you wanna smell warm and spicy and sexy and rich? Just go ahead and throw it on, okay? Very, very light. Like I said, one spray might be all you need. Two is pushing it. <laughs> go ham. Go ham on top of it and spray all over the place with the left Love Fest Burning Cherry and you're gonna smell absolutely remarkable. Trust me, just try it. All right, so next up is going to be up from the House of Oud, my latest House of Oud obsession. This is Ruby Red, oh my goodness, so beautiful. Do you want to smell like candy ginger? That is what this is in a bottle, okay? My favorite candy to consume, because my sister fills my stocking up with this every year, is candied ginger. And that is what this smells like. It, it Ruby Red is, it's like tuberose, I think it's some jasmine, um, and it will remind you of Twilly. I will say that again, it will remind you of Twilly very briefly. But Twilly goes off into a very white floral, soapy, clean scent. This goes to the far left, okay? This is warm, spicy. It has ginger in the top, mid, and the base in some facets. So I think it opens with maybe like um, ginger. Then I think in the mid it has like ginger flower, which still has a very, you know, spicy ginger component to it. 
And then in the base, it has a note of candy ginger. So if you love the note of ginger, this is a no brainer. Now, Lucky Scent is finally carrying it so you can easily get it stateside. I had to order mine directly from the House of Oud, which wasn't a headache or anything like that. The shipping wasn't outrageous, but you can easily just get it now, okay? Through Lucky Scent. And if you want to try this before you buy it to see how it wears, please don't get no 0.7 mil from Lucky Scent. Go to Scents Gift because they have varying sizes of decants. Girl, spend your $20 and get you a five mil. Test this out on your skin because I think you're going to love it. It is, like for me, this is a gourmand, okay? Because it's it's a floral gourmand, but you, you smell it like candy ginger. So I'm gonna put this in the gourmand category um, and it's got like a little white floral essence in there, but the white florals, take a way, way, way back seat, you know, as it starts to dry down. But I love this Ruby Red by the House of Oud. All right, so the last one on this list is going to be a Mandalay, and this is from the House of Soradora. <sighs> I love this fragrance. When I first smelled this, initially, I was like, oh my God, like this has some, like, you know she's in the room. It's not, it's just below that beast mode, um, you know, wearing experience, but it lasts. These, these fragrances have great performance. If you did not like rouge smoking, like it was, it wasn't performing for you. Like, it just wasn't giving you what you thought it was gonna get. Try this one out because this is very much so that heliotrope, like for me, Rouge smoking was very heliotrope, so very powdery, and I didn't get any cherry. I get more cherry from this fragrance, and it doesn't even have a cherry note listed. So the heliotrope can give like, you know, it can give off a cherry vibe, but this also has like the tonka bean, woody facets. It has just a touch of suede. It's not gonna be anything over suede over leathery to me anyway, um, and it's rounded off by notes that you that are there, but they aren't jumping out at you like a cacao. It's got some vanilla, um, caramel. It is blended so beautifully. And am I the only one that kind of gets a slight rouge smoking vibe from this? I don't want to say that to compare them. Like you can definitely have both of these in your collection, but for me, rouge smoking was just such a letdown after numerous attempts to to wear, test, try to like it. It just wasn't doing it for me. Very boring scent to me. This is giving me all of the oomph, all of the magic, all of the, the everything that I wanted to get from that. This is it. Like this is a beautiful like rum, heliotrope, tonka bean type of scent. Love it, love it, love it. And again, it's giving you a slight cherry vibe. Um, yeah. So Sorador, like my, I had the, I have the discovery set and this was my favorite one. Uh, from the entire range. So if you're looking for just a really gorgeous uh, unisex, powdery, but warm, spicy fragrance, this one is definitely one that you should get your nose on. All right, you guys, so that is our video for today. Drop me a comment below. Let me know some of your favorite warm and spicy fragrances to pull out for the winter. Like this is the perfect time to wear fragrances, you know, with these accords and these notes. So let me know some of your favorites. What are you gonna be wearing? It has been real, you guys. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Notification bell is turned on all and make sure that you give the video a big thumbs up because it definitely helps your girl with the algorithm. I will see you guys on the next one.